All right, so hello, clinical faculty again. Um, I'm going to share, David Colruzzo and I actually are going to share with you all a little bit more information about DocuSign. How do you download it, activate it, and make it work with COVID? And just as a reminder, there is um, some video training of how do you all of these steps already on the G Drive. It's that Clio and DocuSign training video from the clinical faculty meeting. But we thought we would a little more in-depth steps for you all, showing you how I set up my DocuSign account and integrate it with Clio. So hopefully this works really well. Um, and also just as a reminder, this is something you can use to send things out to clients or opposing counsel or whoever to sign um, and not have to use the mail. So hopefully this is very useful to folks. So let me uh, get started by uh, sharing my screen. And one of the emails that you have in your inbox is an email from David that the title of which is DocuSign and Clio. And in it is a link to the Google Doc that um, does the training. To the step, sorry, for setting up using DocuSign and Clio. So here is the Google Doc, um, which you're going to want to follow along with probably as you watch this particular video. Um, the other email you will have uh, is also from David, but it's David via Doc. And it looks like this. So it has this blue square middle of it that says account activation. So what we want to do is click on activate. When that happens, it's you to password. And this is where the security question um, will we'll stop sharing your screen for a sec and then we'll, uh, we'll let you set up your security question. Good idea. I will not show you my security question. <laughs> She's typing in her security question. All right. Uh, all right. So I've done that. And then I'm just clicking at the bottom. There's a yellow button that says activate. So I'm going to click on that and I'll start sharing my screen again so you can see what's going on. Oh, sorry. One second. Fine. Again. All right. That was just your password uh, manager asking if you wanted to save that. Yes. For those people who are wondering, what was that screen? Why am I not seeing that screen? Uh, you might not see that screen. <laughs> yeah, I have like an automatic password saver, if you don't, which if you don't have, you won't have that. Um, okay, so this is the screen you come to next, right? Yep, uh, and so you're, you're all done with this. You don't, you can leave this screen if you want, or you can interact with things via this screen if you want, but we want to do the Clio integration, so. Uh, okay. So that's it in terms of, do we want to create a signature or don't? Uh, you probably do want to create a signature for your faculty. That way you just always have a signature if you want one. So this okay. actually is a very similar actually, process. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to create a signature. I don't know if these really look like signature, but let me. You can also, uh, you have the option to draw a signature on the computer oh. or, um, you can, yeah, you click edit, you can edit. Uh, or you can. So I just um, picked one. Yeah, but, so if you go to um, signatures over on the left. Oh, signatures. Yeah. And there's your, you can edit or add a new. Okay, let's try to edit this one. I just picked one from this pre, yeah. Um, yeah. but you can draw one, I guess. You could draw one. Um, Presumably, if you're on your phone or something, you could actually just draw on there. Um, ah, but, with your finger. Yeah, but here you would do it obviously with, uh, you know, that. Or you can upload, right? So if you had a, a scanned image of your signature. Um, ah, you okay. Screen. Which I don't think I have, so I'm just going to use this. Uh, why is they it? I also want your initials too. Oh, my initials. Yeah, so it wants to, in case you have to initial anything. <laughs> you can see how terrible I am drawing with my mouse now. Okay. All right. But anyway, that's kind of the two ways that you can do your signature. So I'm just going to actually add a new one. 
that is a little bit more legible so that I can use either of those. Um, okay, so now let me go back. Yeah. And you're probably done here unless you're gonna wanna add more stuff into your DocuSign account. Um, okay. For our use, this probably does what you need. Okay, so then going back to the instructions, right? We've already activated the DocuSign account. Now we need to set up DocuSign with Clio. So I think I already, did I already open this? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. So now we've already done step one, we signed up for a DocuSign account. So now we need to enable the integration with Clio by visiting docusign.clio.services. So I'm gonna do that. And right, we'll ask you to work in there and then continue. And since, since you were already signed in, I didn't ask you to sign in. Um, but if you had not been signed in, I would have asked you for your Clio credentials. Okay, yeah. So we skipped that step just because I wanted to include and have it sitting on fake matter rather than all of our confidential information. So you will probably prompt to sign into Clio and then you'll get to this screen. Um, and then I guess I would say allow access. Mm -hmm. And then if you want, uh, yeah, so then just continue. Yeah. Um, and uh, you have to sign into your DocuSign account as well, which we just activated. Oh, good, more than eight characters. <laughs> Thank you. And then again, we're going to allow them to have permission. Okay, so we accept. Okay, Oop, switch way before you see the screen. Switch way, switch way. There we go. <laughs> okay, so that was signing me into Clio, but obviously we don't want to see all the matters. So um, what we thought we would do next is show you, but is this going to... So now you need to refresh this page. Okay, got it. Now that it's set up, when you're in Clio, you should have an extra option under, uh, under your documents. Okay. So now, basically, let's say you have a letter in your Clio that you want to send to a client to sign. I'm going to use this document, the example document. You go to more actions under the document, and then you click on sign with DocuSign. And then this is going to let you send the document to your client via email. Um, and am I right, David, that we don't really have a good alternative for email right now? So clients without email. That is, that is correct. There's not, a, there's not a good alternative. Okay. So, you know, for the clients who you have emails for, this is great. And for clients who don't have email for, this may not be as, um, as easy to do. So, uh, yeah, just hopefully... So I'm just going to show you this. This is the um, document that we open, and basically, you can have the students or yourself. You can um, uh, set up the document with all of the kind of signature lines that you would want, and then you'll see in a minute we're going to actually put in a DocuSign label so that people know sign. So I'm actually going to send this David to sign. It's D. Colarusso, C-O-L-A-R-U-S-S-O. So C-O-L. As you can see, I cannot spell. OK. Um, so I'm sending it to David for him to sign. And I would send, this is the email that's going to get sent. So you would say, please, huh? these are the documents. Like that. These are the documents. 
millimeter time. All right, so then once you have that set up kind of the way you want it, you don't use it to multiple people at the same time. If I wanted David to sign and then somebody else to sign, I can add a recipient. You can also, you can um, set the signing order as well by clicking. Um, so, but we're just gonna do a simple send it to one to sign right now. So I'm gonna click next. And um, so here's the document again. This is where you get to place where you want the signature to go. So basically bring the signature thing over. Let's say I had a line down here. And you can also include the signed. Um, and that I think is something that automatically fills in with the date. Yes. Great. And then want them to initial something in the body of the document. You can also put that in. So I'm just going to put those things in and then when gets it, he is going to share his screen so you all can see how that, um, looks on the client. End. So I'm just going to click on send. Um, so now you're going to see what it looks like on David's end when he gets it. And, if got it. yep, I did get it. I'm just going to make it so you can't see all of my emails. Um, and actually... While David is doing that, let me just quickly go back to. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm, I'm ready too, if, if, if you want. Okay. I just want to make sure everybody knows that there, this Google Doc, you can follow the instructions. Again, you can sort of have the Google Doc up. Yeah, here's the Google Doc. Going through. Right. And it will link out to another set of instructions and those you can follow as well. But I went ahead and I, here's my email. I'm not seeing the image because we blocked the images on first, but I'm going to go ahead and say review document. That will open in a new browser window. Um, it wants to know if, if I want to share uh, location. Um, I don't need to, um, so I, I won't, but um, that could be helpful if you wanted to know where people were signing, I guess. Um, and then it's going to say, please review the documents below. And I can see either continue or other actions, um, which is individual things. I can get help um, or I can print. Uh, print it to sign it then, or I can decline to sign the documents. But here, I'm going to say continue. And then I see here's my start. Here's my click for my initials and my signature. Um, I'm not signed in to DocuSign. So this is this is just asking me to, it knows my name is fake, Fakerson. So it assumes my initials are FM. Um, so it's just asking, do I want to use these, uh, this, this signature and initials? And I can say adopt initials. Um, or I could say draw, and then I could do. Oh, except I'm Fakey McFakerson, so I'll, I'll go back here and I'll adopt Fakey's uh, initials. And so because I clicked the initials, I've initialed that, um, and because I want to sign, and here is the date already, and because I want to sign, I'll do that. And as you saw, I got little indicators here on the left to show me where I was. If I want, I can print load, print this or or download it. Um, but I'm done there. I'm just going to click finish, and I'm done signing. Um, at some point, I think I'm asked, um, oh, I was signed in. Um, I thought I wasn't signed in. I was signed in. Um, so it mm. wasn't asking me to sign in. Basically, if at some point, and I don't remember what the workflow is, either at the end or at the beginning, it'll ask me if I want to create a DocuSign account. You do not have to create a DocuSign account to sign a document. Um, the benefit of creating a DocuSign account for our clients is simply that they wouldn't have to redraw their signature if they draw their signature. Um, and also they would then be able to see their documents in one place. But if they don't, if they don't care about that, they do not have to create an account. Um, it will ask them and they can say no and still fill out the document. And that is that. And one last thing I just want to show you all is that once um, the document has been signed by your client, you can actually, you'll see it in email, it'll come back um, and it like this it says completed, um, your document has completed, then you can view the completed document. Yep. 
And this is what you would then upload back up to Clio as the signed document. Right. Or rather, you could download and upload to Clio. Yeah. And so now this is the document that's been signed. And I think, uh, how do we put it on Clio? So you can do the little download, the little that oh, button. Gotcha. So if there are multiple PDFs, you could put it all into one. Um, right. And then there's a PDF. So you would, right. And so what you'd want to do is um, save this. I'm actually not in the VDI, which maybe I should have been to do this. But if I were, then I would be able to save this into the S drive. Um, so that's what you would want to do next. Save it into the S drive, and then it's available to upload into Clio. And it's that easy. It's that easy. Yeah. All right. All right. So hopefully that was helpful to you all. Obviously send me any questions that you have about using this. You can also use this by once you've set up your account, you can um, use this for your own letters that you're gonna be writing for bar reference letters. And you can also use this for anything else that you need to sign that is gonna accept um, a non wet ink signature. So just keep that in mind.